Hello everyone, my name is Dorothy Patterson and welcome to the Comfort Zone. Um, as a work readiness instructor, I work with a diverse group of job seekers, each having various um, 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 backgrounds in employment. I have some who have never worked, I have some with very limited experience, some who have large gaps in employment, but one of my, I believe, my most challenging group would be the seasoned employee. The seasoned employee is one who has worked on a job for many, many years, have extensive um, um, employment history, education, and skills. There are four generations of employees. And throughout history, we have the matures, and they uh, came of age during the 1940s to the 1945. This is the era of loyalty. This particular group um, were very loyal to their company and truly believed that they will be taken care of for the rest of their life, as long as they're loyal. But they also were very resistant to change. And during this time, a lot of changes were taking place. Gradually, technology, and so on. Next are the baby boomers. The baby boomers came of age during the recession, where there was massive layoffs, where there was um, limited amount of work, and um, they became somewhat resentful towards management. I also want to say during the boomer area, where the term workaholic came from, this particular uh, um, employees believe the harder I work, the more I will be rewarded. So when it came to Generation X, during the 1965 to 1977, they watched how their parents became burnt out from becoming workaholics and they took a different type of work ethic. In other words, if their uh, philosophy was, if you're loyal to me, I'm loyal to you. This was the era where there were a lot of strikes and a lot of resistance towards management. Then finally, we have the generational um, Y, which we call the millennials. This is a force to be reckoned with. Millenniums are from an era of entitlement, in a sense. It's not their fault because they got it from previous generations. Okay, so what suggestion do I give to my, 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 my uh, seasoned employees? I give them an example of a period where I was unemployed. And I was very fortunate to have a recruiter who told me the truth, that it would be difficult for me to go out there and find the same position that I'm in working for the past 20 something years. Why? Because there are younger and believe it or not, more skilled people out there and it's very competitive. So what happens with, as a seasoned employee when you go out to look for work? You may be sitting across from someone who's 20 years younger than you. It's really up to you to promote yourself and make age irrelevant. It shouldn't be discussed. It, it should not even be in the equation. So how do you do that, especially when looking at your resume? You treat it as it happened yesterday. Um, you will never say 20 years ago I did A, B, C, and D. It's all about the here and now, not about what you've done years before. Then there's the misconception. The misconception of a seasoned employee is that we are untrainable, and that is far from the truth. Not untrainable, okay? We have more patience. We do want to learn. It's great thing. Um, the next misconception of a seasoned employee, that we're slower. We're not. We're just more patient. And we take more time in doing our duties without rushing through them, which I find that the millenniums have a tendency to do. Some millenniums have a tendency to think quality. That's what I say. So they prefer to have production instead of quality, where baby boomers are more reliant on quality than production. 
Okay. So I, I really try to talk to the seasoned employees because I can identify with them and let them know that certain changes they're going to have to make and their mindset. And one of the things that I have some struggle is to get them to revamp their, their resumes um, to not focus so much on age and what they've done in the past 20 years, but to focus more on now. I also try to encourage them to improve their skills as much as possible, especially computer skills. Also, as a seasoned employee, you have to learn to speak the language. You are in a diverse generational environment where there's all different um, age groups, you should be able to speak the language. I'm not saying that you have to say all the different slangs, but you need to understand the language. And you may at times may have to speak the language to get your message across. And um, foremost, I try to tell the seasoned employee to be open for constructive criticism. Anything that is going to help you through the process to embrace it. And finally, uh, the, uh, uh, the key thing is communication talking with your supervisor, regardless of how old they are, um, talking to your co-workers because you can learn from everybody and anybody. And um, to remember that age is nothing but a number. Thank you.